I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of uh, connecting the Raspberry Pi to X-Plane. I've got the Raspberry Pi running here on a, a terminal connection to the Raspberry Pi and I've got um, X-Plane running here on a, a Windows a PC and I'm transmitting um, some of the data blocks uh, via UDP to the Raspberry Pi and it's listening for those on those ports and I've written a, a Python script which I'll upload onto onto this site and you can um, you can download that and have a look at the code I'll just go ahead and run that uh, that Python script and at the moment it's simply uh, there's a couple of debug lines in there and it's writing those to the screen and it's telling me that the wheel brakes are currently off so if I get focus on the X plane and I turn the wheel brakes on just by pressing the B key you can see that the brakes are coming on there and the print to the screen is also showing that the wheel brakes are on so I can turn those brakes on turn those brakes off uh, so that was a proof of concept to communicate between the X plane uh, via Raspberry Pi using UDP and it's listening for that on port 49005. I'll load the code up um, and show you how I did that. A couple of other things though, you'll notice up on the left hand side I'm, I'm breaking that out and I can I can show that with here. So if you're not familiar on how to transmit UDP out of X-Plane, it's fairly simple. Just go to settings, you go to data input and output and you'll see the data set here and there's 133 data sets and there's four checkboxes against each data set. So in this particular case I'm outputting data set 14 which is for gear and brakes. The first checkbox is to transmit that via UDP so as you hover over that you'll get that box it shows and also down the bottom here you'll see it says internet via UDP. The rest of the boxes is uh, one of them is to show in the cockpit so before we could see those showing up in the cockpit which is really useful to uh, to debug and find out what's coming out. The the second one is to show that in graphical display and the third one or this one here the second one sorry is to I can actually output that to a text file and look at that text file later on and it will log those. So that's how you set it up. The second thing down here is uh, the UDP rate and this is important. Uh, at, the, at the moment I'm transmitting uh, three packets per second so that's that's quite fast. If I slow that down uh, to one packet a second then obviously the update to the Raspberry Pi will be slower but there'll be less network traffic. Okay, So that's how I set up the transmission. The other things again within there under net connections if I go to data you'll see where I'm transmitting that to. So those UDPs are being transmitted to this IP address 192.168.5.57 so that's going to be the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and then secondly this is the port and as I said I'm transmitting that to port 49005 which isn't being used for anything else on my network and I've selected that to uh, be the IP of the data receiver. Um, so in the code, my Python code, uh, this is important to have this port matched uh, correctly so I can change this if I change it here I'm obviously going to have to update in the in the Python script also. Okay, I hope that helps and you can go to iflysims.com and the code will be available there also. Thanks for watching.